What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you a little look at the brand new Guggen Bates Poppin' Frog. So in front of me, I have three colors as you can see. I just picked these up today from shopcarls.com. Make sure you check them out. If you're actually a member there, you get 30% off all your baits. So these are normally going for about 10 bucks. Got them all for $6. So, really good deal, guys. Make sure you become a member. It's $50 for a whole year, free shipping, 30% off everything. It's awesome. You gotta take advantage of that. So, let's go ahead and take a look at these guys, a little closer look, uh, tell you exactly what I have here, which colors they are, kind of compare them to uh, the old frogs, and get a little bit of an in-depth look at uh, what the new Guggen Poppin' Frog has in store for us. So, let's get to it. <music> Alrighty guys, I got three frogs right here in front of me. The furthest one from the camera right here is going to be the bone white poppin' frog. Uh, the second one we got is going to be the green pumpkin poppin' frog. And then we have the, um, what is this last one? And then we have the leopard frog. So let's take a little bit closer look at these uh, frogs individually and kind of see what, what details they have. So first one I got in my hand is going to be the uh, leopard frog. This is going to be your most common green frog. Really, really cool color. Uh, really nice job by Guggen Bates bringing in that extra accent. It's got a nice little gold finish, nice edging, uh, gold little eyes, and it's actually got the Guggen Squad logo in there. Uh, good job by Catch Co. You know, uh, they're the ones actually who make these baits. It's Catch Co. Uh, with Guggen Squad, but the uh, the actual manufacturer is going to be Catch Co. So. I got crazy, crazy sharp hooks. Like it's sticking to my skin just from, just from touching it right there. Really, really nice design. The skirt on it has some um, like blue flake in it. It's a green, blue flaky kind of green pattern to it. It's a little hard to see uh, in this in this low lighting that I have, but it's a really cool color. It's got some some brown in there, some black and some yellow. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom. It's just going to be a white base over here. Uh, nothing too fancy, it's just kind of mimicking the belly of a normal frog. So you can see white base. It's got the red mouth. So that is your common red mouth for a frog, I assume. Uh, nothing nothing too crazy there. But I do see that around these black uh, little patterns, the little leopard spots on these frogs, they have like a chartreuse yellow. Really cool that it will help pop early in the mornings with the sun uh, hitting off the water. It's going to add a nice little reflection on the frog. It's going to kind of add a little bit of a luminescence. Uh, that's what the, the chartreuse color actually does in the water. It acts as a little luminescence, kind of like a shine. Um, so that's what really attracts the fish, you know. Um, it'll be a good, good little addition to the frog. Um, so it's a very, very soft plastic. Uh, I know I know a few of them are made out of different plastics because they're different materials for different looks So uh, this one is definitely gonna be a really soft plastic as you can see very minimal effort Hooks come right out as soon as I press it. So that's really cool. I like that. I like that uh, skirts are about finger length long um, So I like to trim my skirts about yay long as you can see I got my old frog right here um, so We'll take a look at that here in a little bit compared to the other bone. Um, but this is gonna be, you know, basic frog skirt size. And uh, that's a, a good little in-depth look at the leopard frog, Guggen Poppin' Frog, Leopard Frog. So let's go and take a look at the next one. It is going to be the uh, the Green Pumpkin. And I was really excited about this one because I've seen it in um, the hollow body, but I've never been able to order it. They're always sold out for some reason. Um, so I knew that I was gonna wait for it with the Poppin' Frog um, because it's just such a really cool color. So. As you can see right here, it's got the green or chartreuse underlip. It's got a white mouth, so it's completely different from the leopard frog. We're already going almost complete opposites. We got the chartreuse over here instead of the white belly, and then we got the red mouth versus the white mouth. So let's take a little bit closer look at that. You can see, um, you know, they're each unique to their own to themselves. So that's pretty cool. If you're not, if you're going to be picking up a few like I did, uh, each frog is going to be a little bit more unique and it's going to have its own individual use. Um, so I like the white belly frogs. That's, I mean, that's the way to go. Unless you're fishing a little bit muddier waters, then you might want to fish a little bit darker frog. Uh, that's that's when I usually fish my darker frogs. Um, so, take a little bit closer look at this guy. All right, so got the eat me on top. It's got the uh, green eye. It's got the little Guggen Squad little design in there, and uh, it's it's got gray, but it's got like little little flakes in there. It's almost like they're glitter flakes, 
that they uh, sealed plastic over. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like little flakes on top too. It's almost as if the plastic slowly becomes um, transparent once it gets to the top. So that, that's pretty unique in its own design. Um, I've only seen one bait that's kind of transparent, but it's the whole way through. Um, to, and that's by Booyah brand. It's a little old smoky. So this is almost like it has something similar to that. Uh, there you go. You can kind of see through it now with the, the, the angle that I have right there. So it starts to change up, gets a little bit transparent uh, compared to the side. You see how much darker it is right here. And then you got the white belly. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm assuming that that helps. Yeah, definitely. That helps with the softness of the plastic. So I'm assuming what they're doing there is they're reducing the amount of plastic that's on top of the body. So that way when these fish bite the top right there, hooks come out. Um, hooks come out really easy, really nice. Um, and comparing the two together, um, they're very similar. They're, they're almost identical. I would say that the, the leopard frog might be a tad bit easier on the push down. Um, you know, looking at the camera, and it, it looks actually like this one is actually a little bit more flexible. It, it's like this one springs back up faster, but it goes down pretty easy. But this one all the way through, it has a nice little soft bounce to it. Uh, definitely, definitely a nice little soft plastic to it. So that's pretty cool that that transparent um, plastic kind of makes it a little bit softer. So I like that. Uh, one more time, take a little bit closer look at it. White belly, chartreuse lip, the darker sides, kind of transparent on top, green eyes. And the skirt itself is going to be a brown and a green uh, just skirt. Nothing too fancy, no glitter flake or anything like that, no, no black spots. But once again, about fingertip long, um, green on bottom, brown on top. So that's going to kind of mimic more of like a, almost like a bullfrog, but this is going to be the green pumpkin. So green pumpkin frog by Guggen. So let's take a look at the last one that we picked up. It's going to be the bone color. And I already have a bone color because this is a frog that I actually use a lot. I like it. Uh, it, it walks amazing, these walking frogs, or the hollow body frogs by Guggen, so I knew I had to pick up the popping frog bone color by them as well. Really cool um, design by this one compared to the other two. Uh, it does have a little bit thicker plastic. The bone color is a little bit thicker. Um, it still goes down fairly easy though. It's, it's not an issue. Um, it's actually almost easier than the hollow body. It's about the same actually. Um, but it's it's a nice design. It's almost like a, a velvety feel to it. It's it's really where it's like a matte finish kind of um, soft. So the difference between this one though and the other frogs is if you look at the mouth, they're completely different color reds. This is almost like an infrared. Uh, it's like a pink kind of glowing red. Really really cool. I've never seen that in really any lure, especially in a frog lure. Um, but it, it's just really unique. It's really cool. It's got the nice design, popping frog, a little, little design that Guggen has, but it's just a slight change up. You know, they're very, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so it's a slight change up, but uh, I like that, that little change up. Just adds a little bit of difference. Uh, like I said, you're getting the same frog, but they're, they're having their own little unique designs. Even though it's a red mouth, it's just a little bit different. It, I think it adds to that flatness, uh, like I said. So um, take a look at this individually. This one's not as fancy as the other two. It is just gonna be your bone white color. It's gonna have your black little bullfrog little marking. It's gonna have the red, I guess that'd be like a gill lip or like a, a little uh, cheek plate uh, of a frog. And then it's gonna just have the like vanilla colored skirt and vanilla colored body almost. So green eye, black mascara, eyeliner, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so that is going to be the bone colored frog and I just want to take a real quick comparison of the two frogs and kind of show you what's uh, kind of changed in them. So if you look at the frogs right here in front of me, um, we have the hollow body frog right here and then we have the popping frog right here. The size of the frogs are fairly similar um, as you can see that the, the nose of this one is a v-cut so it's going to help when you're cutting through vegetation cutting through lily pads um, cutting through little more um, it, it helps when you're cutting through vegetation that's above the water compared to mats that are underneath the water so when you're fishing grass mats that's when it's really good to use the popping frog because not only does it attract the fish through those mats that they can't see but uh, sometimes it actually clears the mats themselves when you get that popping motion 
pushes some of the grass out of the way and allows these fish to not only know where they're at, but come strike them. So having that popping frog does add a little bit of difference and it's good to know exactly what to use, uh, when to use and, and how to use. So once again, hollow body is gonna work better on above ground vegetation. That is gonna be your lily pads, uh, vines, tree stumps, stuff like that. Uh, you can still throw the popping frog on some of those things. I wouldn't recommend it around um, real thick lily pads because it's gonna get caught, the lip's gonna get caught on the edge of the lily pads. It's, it's gonna just be a little pain of a butt. Uh, compared to the hollow body frog, it's just gonna skip right over. So unique designs in their own, the walking motion from the hollow body frog versus the popping motion is just gonna slowly move forward. Um, they both have about the same size body width so definitely it's not going to change if you're used to using a hollow body um, you're going to be catching probably the same same style hook set um, the only thing that i would say is that the body itself is slightly longer it almost feels like but that's just because the the popping head comes out uh, if you see right here the hook eyes are actually the same um, and if you turn it over you can compare it a little bit easier move the slip down you can see that the the hooks actually are about the same exact length so uh, that's just a real quick little one-on-one uh, -on -one between the hollow body and the popping frog so you have a little bit better idea of the two frogs and how to compare them uh, maybe even have a little bit better idea of how to use them or right, that's gonna be my breakdown guys of the new Guggen Baits uh, popping frogs if you enjoyed the video uh, please leave me a thumbs up if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and uh, make sure you check them out at shopcarls.com like I said 30% off if you're a member free shipping uh, on, I mean, all these Guggen baits, almost every bait, some of them are 50% off. Just check them out, guys. You'll love it. You won't regret it. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, once again, leave me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.